Hello, my name is Simon Bradwell from EBM Pabst in Melbourne and I want to talk to you today about fan efficiency, fan input power and high efficiency fan selections. Fan efficiency, why is it important? It's been recorded that between 40 and 50% of all power consumed inside buildings is consumed inside fans. This is fans in air conditioning, fans in ventilation, fans in refrigeration fans in car parks, all sorts of applications. It means that locally in both Australia and New Zealand, the governments want to get involved in reducing the power consumed inside fans. And this has been regulated in several ways, through the building codes, through minimum energy performance standards, and from in from the cold strategies, which both Australian and New Zealand governments are undertaking currently. There are a range of international standards, and that's also important and I'd like to talk to you about that in the first instance. Inside the European Union, the, uh, the regulations for fan efficiencies have been already implemented, such that at the beginning of 2013 and 2015, our fans are being regulated by their minimum energy performance standards. Uh, that means some products will no longer carry a CE mark. The standard that's been used to, uh, used to create these regulations is ISO 12759. And here I've got a slide showing the definition of fan efficiency in that standard. Here you can see that the fan is taken as a system as a whole and the efficiency is the, the divisor between the fan input power to the whole fan system and the air output power. Now, locally what's happening in Australia? In Australia, the local authority affecting fan minimum efficiency is the building codes of Australia. And here I have a graph which defines the fan input power inside the building codes of Australia. On the right hand side, the grey out area, is the area which the building codes define as fan input power. And you can see that's the shaft power. You can see on the left hand side the consideration is taken towards the whole fan system, but only the right hand side, the fan input power at the shaft, is defined as fan input power. Now this is in complete difference to the international standards and we need to be aware of that. So, fan efficiency, what is it? Let's go back to this slide and the international standards because this is the standards which are currently being negotiated with both the Australian and New Zealand governments and the building codes of Australia. Here you can see that the fan is taken as a system as a whole. Item 1 is the input power to the speed controller. Here you can see that there are losses in the speed controller. There are losses in the three phase and AC motor. There are losses in the belt drive and there are losses in the couple, point number five. There are also losses inside the housing or the fan efficiency itself. The big difference between forward curved and backward curved, for instance. Backward curved fans being much more efficient. Therefore giving the air power, air power seven there. And the efficiency is the difference between 1 and 7. So, in summary, today I've been talking about fan efficiency. I've been talking about fan input power, as well as a range of regulations associated with fan efficiency. Both the international standards, ISO 12759, and also what's defined locally within the building codes as the fan input power. If you need some more information, please go to our website ebmpaps.com.au or ebmpaps.co.nz and there you'll find a range of articles with respect to EC products in a range of applications. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.